Hey everyone, my name is Kaikoon6 and I'm here to do a crafting video for you guys. Um, I have this project in mind for such a long time and here I thought I had all the necessary items for this uh, project that I'm going to be doing with you guys. But the only thing I'm missing from this is just one item which is like the handle for it. And what we're going to be making today is a paintbrush holder. And, uh, but yeah, I couldn't find the specific item that I needed for a handle. So it will be done, but it's going to be like without the handle for this one. So, um, hopefully in a future video, once I do find the, um, the handle for this, I'll show it off and be like, Hey, this is the finished product and this and that. But if you've already found like the perfect handle for, for this project if you're going to be doing it with me then um you know all power to you i'm still trying to find the perfect one for myself so we're going to be using all of the items that you can get from dollar tree and um and i'm going to be showing you guys how to make it so let me just show it off right now so that way we can get started um so the first thing that you need of course for a paintbrush holder are stuff that you can hold your paintbrushes in there and I you and I don't know if you remember in a previous shopping finds video but I have found all three of these in like a local Dollar Tree and it was in the Mother's Day section area when it was like in the seasonal stuff and um and I thought these were going to be perfect because not only are they pretty you know but like I thought it'd be easier to kind of like gravitate towards you know I'll be like oh maybe this one would be specific for ceramics or this one's gonna be for acrylics and then other like Mod Podge maybe who knows but I wanted to do like a color coordinated thing and I thought maybe these specific um you know colors for them will be perfect you know like the ombre look and stuff because I really do like ombre so so you need those and then if you have uh, cable ties then you can use them and I don't know if you remember me talking about it but uh, in a previous uh, shopping finds video but we have found these at Walmart you know like I told you guys about them and they're like a 50 pack 4 inch ones and they have black and white in them well well after I was thoroughly cleaning this room uh, a while back because my husband was trying to look for garden fencing I think and I remember telling him like I do have some and it was going to be for a future project to do with you guys and um, I was going to do some sort of lighting with it so I, like you know bear with me I will make that video in the near future and while I was cleaning up for to find the garden fencing I have found these and I remember I mentioned it before that these are the 100 pack of uh, four inch cable ties that are like fully black and i found them at my local dollar tree and these were a dollar 25 compared to this one like a dollar 27 or like maybe two dollars for this and so i just thought well if you already have like these or these you know that's up to you but i i I am going to use these or I did use them so that way I can save some time for you guys because it was pretty difficult to put the cable ties for this one so I have already done it for you guys just to like save some time because I did struggle to put all the uh, cable ties in them and I didn't really care if like the um, the the end piece right here was going to be inside of the paintbrush holder instead of like inside right here which one of them is and so I thought, well, I'm just going to save you guys some time. You know, I don't want you guys to see me struggle with it for a few minutes. So it's already been done. So I already put the cable ties in there. So now they look like this. They're not fully even because some of them are like one on top of the other. And they're it's kind of uneven, but it's okay. I could always fix that sometime soon. I just want to do them really quick so that way, uh, you know, I don't have to uh, waste some time in here. So other than uh, zip ties and the makeup uh, brush holders that were from Dollar Tree, you do need a pair of scissors so you can cut off the ends of the cable ties once you've actually fully like uh, closed them in. And then the next thing you need is other than the handle, which um, if you do already have the handle, all you have to do is just insert it into the middle. You can glue some of it on there. Sorry, I just jolted because I was going to show you guys my paintbrushes that I'm going to be using to put in the holders. Um, but yeah, um, so if you already have a handle for it and it's like this width, I don't know if it's like probably three quarters of an inch, maybe. I'll probably find a dowel or something so that way it'd be perfect. So, you know, that way I can just insert it in there, maybe glue it on there, who knows, and then it'll be the perfect you know handle for it so i can just grab it and then be like okay i do i need brushes for mod podge so let me just take them off of certain ones but yeah 
Um, but yeah, the next thing we just need other than the handle is just paintbrushes. And I remember showing these guys, uh, these ones in a previous uh, shopping finds video. And then I was going to show you guys these paintbrushes that I have that are the brand called Delta. And I did, uh, bought them like a few years ago, I think, or a couple years ago, maybe that, um, I got them at uh, Dollar Tree. And these were like the uh, $1.25 ones. And they're really good. They're like one of my favorite ones. I wish they had more of these, uh, but they no longer have them no more. And um, I hopefully in the near future, they'll be able to stock them up. Even if it's not $1.25, maybe like the $3 ones, hopefully they'll find some. But yeah, like I remember using these for um, a lot of like acrylics and ceramic projects that I had in the previous past. And and I thought, well, I wanted to buy more brushes so that way I can use some for Mod Podge and for, um, for you know, acrylics or ceramics. And then after using these, this set as for ceramics, um, they're going to be specific for ceramics where the other ones, I still have no idea what to use them for. I don't know if this one's going to be for uh, acrylics or this one's going to be for acrylics or Mod Podge. But since probably there's a lot of brushes on here, maybe this will be for Mod Podge and this is for ceramics, so who knows. But I thought that maybe um, it'd be, you know, it'd be better for me to have like a variety of brushes for each for each um, project that I'm going to be doing or for future projects. So yeah, so anyway, uh, let's get started with this. Um, so basically I already did maybe 50% of it already, which is like putting the the cable ties and then try to connect them all together. I use three of them. You could always use two. Um, or if not, you can use one. If it's a, if you have the longer versions of these uh, cable ties, you could always zip one or two of them and that's it. And then cut off the end of it. Or if you did it like me where I was like, oh, maybe I might need a, a bunch of these to hold it securely. Um, I use three of those four inch ones and they look like they're pretty good. I mean, I can still move them around a little bit and yeah, like, as you can see, they're not really like even. So I mean, that's okay because like they're going to be used either way and I could always rearrange it differently or you put another cable tie or something like that. So this one's already done. So, and now it's just, uh, trying to figure out which one is going to be for, um, for my paintbrushes and I felt like well for the ceramics I might do the blue ombre one like the yeah the blue ombre one so those are gonna be my ceramic ones and then um and I'm gonna take these out of the package hopefully I'll be able to because I wanted to show you guys like what they look like with the package and stuff like that and they do have some zip ties to them so yeah or I'm gonna be cutting them off with scissors and stuff like that I just uh, scoot over my trash can it's a little bit further away from me but um but yeah uh, I'm gonna see how I'm gonna cut it off uh let's see oh luckily they're not like they're like elastic that's really interesting they're like really elastic so you'll be able to cut them off no problem so let me see how I'm gonna do it <laughs> like just give me a moment you guys but yeah um I have been working on writing a lot lately because um, like I was already done with a, a friend's birthday gift so that way I can like concentrate on actually crafting and then probably rewriting which I have done for the past few days and um, and I just wanted to like start crafting again because I have so many crafting um, items that I have gotten like for the past like few years and I wanted to work on it but then like I got too distracted with writing and stuff like that and so I was like finally that I felt like I finally caught up with everything and then maybe if I have to go through like the final short short story sorry I can't speak today uh if I go through the final short stories to see if they need to be re re rewritten or they're f like you know they're perfect the way yes it is then I won't have to like worry about um you know rewriting again and I'll just concentrate on crafting and so that's what I've been doing I finally got and then so yeah that's why I was like oh um let me see if I can do some craft uh projects soon especially to upload on this channel and like I said time went by so fast for me and I felt like I wasn't doing enough crafting and then now um, I maybe I'll get back into crafting now since I'm almost done with rewriting some short stories, especially with the one that I'm working on uh, today or a few days ago. But yeah, I finally took it out of the packaging and and it's like these paintbrushes and each one has like a number on them. So I just thought that's really interesting. I don't know if you guys can see it. That's an 11. That's like a four. But yeah, 
And since I said that these are going to be for Mod Podge, I think, I don't know which one to put it in. Like, it's going to be the pink and blue one, or is it like the uh, pink and purple? But I felt like since they're like blue and probably they differentiate here, or if not, I could probably put them in here instead, you know, the so that way it would be like kind of like aesthetically pleasing. So I'll probably put these paintbrushes for ceramics into the blue and pink ombre one while i'll put the blue ones for the blue ones and i and honestly they look aesthetically pleasing already and so the final one i'm going to be putting into the last one this is going to be for um for uh, uh acrylic sorry but yeah i already took them off of the packaging so let me just dump them all out and see what they look like and yeah i'm gonna try and be careful not to like drop any of the brushes because they're very thin i didn't realize they were gonna be this thin or maybe I should use these ones for ceramics because I do a lot of like small details for ceramics. Whereas like these type of brushes, they don't have that many like thin brushes, you know? So I'm not sure. I'll probably rethink everything again, but I, but we'll just see because there are a lot of like small brushes in here. So there you go. I'm gonna throw that away. And then this is what the, the brushes look like for that package. It's a lot, honestly. Like, I felt like maybe $3 was actually worth it. So so now we're going to put it in the final uh, one, which is the pink and uh, purple ombre one. So there you go. That's everything. And hopefully in the near future, I'll be able to fill up more uh, paint brushes in here because I just wanted to see what it looked like already, like, with some of them in there. And I felt like there, maybe because I'm such a, like, what's the right word for it? Maybe not a minimalist, but I am a maximalist because I have like so many things either on the walls or just a lot in general in my house. And I'm trying to downsize, but I feel like it's never enough. Like I just want to fill in spaces sometimes and like, yeah, it, that can be a problem. But I, I don't know that I've always been like that. And then plus my mother-in-law doesn't help with that type of stuff, especially when we go shopping together. So I felt like this is too much or too little, I should say. So I'm like, I'm probably going to get me another set of these brushes, maybe the same color, different colors. I don't know, but, but it's going to be perfect. So yeah, that is it. Um, I actually like my frame brush holder, honestly, and I'll probably like it more once I actually do have the, the handle for it. So I felt like this one was like a quick and easy project. Like to me it was the one that took the longest, of course, was putting the zip ties or the, I mean the cable ties for the for the makeup uh, brush holders and um, just trying to go through like little holes in them, which one will fit and this and that. And um, and that one took the longest for me because when I was trying to do them, um, like I knew I was going to take forever and I'm like, I don't want to waste your guys' time not just with rambling on but just to see me like struggle trying to put them through the holes and then trying to see if I figured out how to like close it entirely or if not I gotta go flip it and then close it I don't know it's always been so difficult for me with cable ties so I always have to like figure out which one's the right uh way how to like you know close them and stuff like that so anyway that's the end of the crafting project that was pretty fast um but yeah, I think I'm going to have some more future projects. Like, I'm still trying to figure out which one I'm going to do next. Because I do have a lot of them, like, saved in a big box that I have over here. It's, like, off camera. I wish I can show you guys, but I still have a mess. And um, I want to know, like, what am I going to do next? So if I go through them and if I see something that I might want to do, then I'll do next. But I really wanted to do this real quick for you guys. And plus, um, just see if I can work on more acrylic type, uh, you know, paint projects or ceramic ones. So anyway, I'm going to end the video there. I'm going to go scoot my trash can over there. Um, but yeah, um, I think next week I'm going to be doing a playlist story video because, um, like I said, I have been listening to a lot of music, a, a lot of music more than I usually do. And um, especially since I've been writing a lot and stuff like that. And hopefully once I'm done with writing, I'll be able to just enjoy the music instead of like, you know, going into the flow of like my imagination and stuff like that just to start writing. Hopefully I'll be able to like fully enjoy music so that way I'll um, make some more future videos of playlist stories and, and all that stuff. But yeah, like I want to make one next week so that way um, I'll explain like this certain memory that really popped in my head recently. And yeah, so that way I can explain it to you guys. And it's not like a 
it's not a, like a big deal type of thing or like a life-changing one or something that I went through. It was just like one of those things that it's like a little snippet of, of, of a moment in my life. So anyway, I'm just going to end it there before I start rambling on because I know this is already like a longer video. I'm trying to make really short videos. But anyway, um, hopefully you guys have a lovely day and a lovely week and I'll see you guys next week. All right. Bye, everyone.